What's up guys, how's it going? Um, so, back with another self-help video, lol. Uh, but no, it's uh, it's one of these things that's been really bugging me uh, about this specific car. None of my other FN2s had it, had like, you know, proper horrible wear with the seats. And I do need to either get it replaced or get it fixed. But at the moment, I was just looking for kind of just a cheap option just to tie me over. Because if you'll know, with these seats, the, they actually, they're really good, really supportive. If you are looking for a car, standard car, cheap, with the best seats that money can get into that package, this car 100% has them. Uh, the bolsters are amazing, but with that comes a price. Getting in and out of the car, you're always going to scuff them, especially if you catch them in your jeans, and it can start to rip the bolsters. Now, the annoying thing about that is, it's inevitable, but a lot of these are getting higher mileage now, so getting in and out, it's always going to have them. Um, so yeah, I just got a cheap little fix that I thought I could show you guys um, just to kind of tie you through. So yeah, let's get to it. So if you have one of these, you'll know that it's never the inside one that wears because we never get in and out of that side. However, what you'll see is that it, they can really start to wear on, the ins on here. And what you want to do is you want to protect that so it doesn't wear even more and more and more because inevitably you know it will do you know it's a higher mileage car even the lower mileage ones can happen but these are the seats yeah so they can look horrible here's one that i made earlier all i've done i've gone online i've got like this piece of alcantara uh, you can use felt or you can use suede and what it is it's actually sticky back so it requires no stitching and what you'll notice is the actual patch on my car is only this big the problem with that is if i cut a piece this big it will start to curl and it'll just come up what you ideally want i know it's not ideal because of the red stitching on the seats but you want quite a long strip so that it covers all of that bolster and I've kind of worked out that this kind of size is perfect. So all you want to do, um, <clears throat> excuse me, is peel off the sticky back plastic. Then you're just going to stick it over and I'll show you that now. We'll try and do this one handed, but I don't think it's going to work. So obviously, you know, you can, I could do a better job of matching the colour, but you know, it's black. That's the main thing. And what you want to do is obviously pull it tight. And what I'll do once I've done that, I'll come back to you. Okay, so. Okay, so at a glance, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's much better than catching yourself on that every time you're getting in and out. And I think it was like £3 for that stuff, you know? It wasn't even that expensive. But if you really wanted to, I suppose you could bring it further up and up and up. But I just think the more you do it, um, you know, it's not, you know, it's just, it's not perfect. It's just to, until you can get it properly fixed, it's not a bad way of doing it. Because in the meantime, I've been saying I'm going to get it fixed for months. But it's just annoying because then you've got to take out your driver's seat if you're sending it or you've got to leave it with them. Or you could just buy new seats, but I don't think that's too bad, if you ask me, for a couple of quid. Yeah. So, like I say, you can see it. But blends in quite nicely, in my opinion. Right, so once again, making use of the garage, garage, whatever you want to say. A few little things for you to think about before or in between getting your seats done. Dead easy, dead quick. A couple of quid, as I keep saying. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.